Hey everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the hive on a Tuesday. In lieu of Tip Tuesday today, we are going to be doing a swap card showcase and you are going to be seeing lots of different swaps from people all over the United States. So there are two different uh, swaps that I have that I'm going to show you. Um, one is the customer swap and then one is uh, swaps that I do with uh, fellow demonstrators who are Stampin' Up! demonstrators or discount shoppers that um, just want more swap cards. <laughs> so I swap to give you guys ideas and to show you how the things in the catalog can be used to make beautiful, creative cards. And, oh, let's just see if I can find me. I have, are you going to be on all day? Yes, oh, sorry, Anna's messaging me. I'm like, um, <laughs> and trying to make coordinations, you guys. I leave for my trip tomorrow. Hi, Karen. Um, um, and I'm trying to get all the buttons, but, the loose ends buttoned up. <laughs> so, oh, that's how it goes, right? Um, <clears throat> hi, Feline. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate it. Now, let's see if I can find the video of us here live so I can watch your comments in both places. Hi, Deb Norman. Hi, Doris Monson. <clears throat> you guys will have to deal with me in the morning. I am not an early camper or an early bird by any means. I feel like my eyes are still sleeping. <laughs> can you guys relate to that? <laughs> um, I can do things all night long but, and stay up late, but I can't really function well in the morning. <laughs> hi, Sandy Wicklander. Um, hi, Patsy Husson. Thank you so much. If you guys message me <clears throat> early in the morning and I reply back and the response doesn't make sense, that means that I did not ultimately read what you asked me completely. <laughs> Perfect example. Jeannie Parker asked me today, this morning, I don't know what time she texted me, but I roll out of bed and I look at my phone and I read a message and I'm like, I respond and I think I respond the right way. Hi, Linda Johnson. Yay, live from Kalamazoo. Um, I thought I responded appropriately <laughs> and I got a response back from her saying, well, that's like, in my mind, I was like, oh shoot, that's not what she asked. She was asking about swap cards. And here I thought she was asking about a class that she did in the past and she couldn't find the PDF and wasn't sure what class it was. And so we figure it out, but you guys, <laughs> my brain doesn't function so well in the morning. Just putting it out there. Whew, I found it. Talked myself through that. I wore your shirt today, Deb. Woohoo! Be happy. <laughs> Deb, Doris is a morning person on your daily walk, usually at 6 a.m. Yup. <laughs> oh, hi, Elaine Rebeck. There's a little bit of everybody that does everything different with mornings and evenings. And so I'm trying to wake up with you guys right now. And we have a, I'm trying to pump myself up here. We have a swap card showcase. And um, <laughs> I think I've done that to a few of you, like where you're like, that's not what I asked. And I'm like, oh, you're right. I reread it and I'm like, I missed three words. <laughs> so what we have today, um, we're gonna do the swap card showcase, you guys. We're sneaking this in before I leave. And also um, I'm prepping pieces for Anna. She's gonna be doing some die cutting for me for while I leave or while I'm gone. And I asked um, somebody else to help me with some embossing. So getting all that stuff prepped and ready. Hi, Lizzie Lister. And then we're going to be sneaking in to do a last chance review. I went through the holiday catalog on Deb's Morning Person. <laughs> Deb knows. We stayed over. Tyler and I stayed over by Deb one weekend. And it was hard to get up by 9.30 or 10, whatever it was. We had breakfast. Deb had everything already. And here <laughs> we were crawling out of bed. <laughs> um, so... Um, getting the last chance, you guys, I got the holiday catalog. I went through it all, not the holiday, I'm sorry, the spring catalog, um, all highlighted, ready to go. So I don't have a time set. I kind of got to see how long it takes for me to prep Anna's pieces. I, they're not her pieces, but prep pieces for Anna. They will be hers for a period of time. And then I've got to get stuff ready in the middle too. And so it'll be this afternoon. I can't guarantee a time, but we're gonna, we're gonna have, make it happen. Hi, Angela. So what I have today for you guys is I've got some customer swaps. So I have a customer group in the um, Cards by Christine um, customer swap group that I host. And there were, I think, eight people, maybe maybe it was nine, that uh, swapped this last month. And so I have those cards I want to share. And I have some happy mail. And then I have maybe over 100 swap cards from the new annual catalog. And we're going to go through those. I don't... Um, spend minutes on each one. What I do is I kind of walk through them, tell you what they're from, if I remember it. If I can't remember it and you guys know, you chime in, you help out and we get things answered. <laughs> and I'll try to walk through the catalog too to show you guys where they are in the catalog. I'm estimating this will take about more than an hour, but I don't think more than an hour and a half. So I think that will be done about noon central time. And then 
get some pieces prepped. And I'm thinking if I had to guess, the last chance might happen around three-ish if I can. So um, we packed last night. Yes. Yeah, so that's done. Woohoo. Um, yeah. So, and that's why I'm still tired. We got, we spent some time at my parents yesterday on the farm. Um, helped my dad with some things. Well, I should say Tyler helped my dad with some things with the chicken coop. And, um, we hung out there till nine and then we got back in and to Fond du Lac about 20 minutes away and we packed until basically it was 1230. And, and then it was by the time, you know, you got showered up and ready for bed, it was 130. And I'm like, get up at 830. That seven hours isn't enough. Hi, Hilden L. <laughs> um, no, we leave tomorrow morning at the butt crack a dawn. <laughs> I think our flight is at 642. So we have to leave here at 430. And we're camping two of the nights while we're out there. So we have two of our check bags. I get free on American Airlines because I have their credit card. And so two of the bags are dedicated just to all of our, our tents. We have a small sleeping bag. We have a mattress pad, like an air mattress. We have cooking gear and stuff <laughs> we're camping two nights so we packed all of our camping stuff so we had to pull all of our camping stuff out and get it all packed and then we get um a carry-on bag and that's where our clothes go <laughs> so i packed really low-key or light i should say it was kind of difficult um uh and then i get a backpack so <laughs> that's where all the stamping stuff goes in is in the backpack so it'll be good it'll be very good so yes we leave tomorrow morning and then we're back like late on tuesday night so it's about six solid days that we're gone and it should be good. It should be good. It'll be tiring tomorrow because, oh, Debbie, you asked if we got packed. Yes, it's a good thing we did that last night and that we're not doing that this like tonight until 1.30 in the morning because we basically have to get up. And then I have a little quorum or a little um, like issue because we can order from the new mini holiday catalog tomorrow <laughs> at like 2 a.m. I'm like, do I not go to bed tomorrow and get my order in? I'm trying to figure that out. So lots of other things to get done before that. So anyways, you guys, here we are on a Tuesday morning in lieu of Tip Tuesday. Just a reminder, I'm doing a swap card showcase. And then when I do the last chance, that's going to be in lieu of my Tip Tuesday for next week. So I'm doing double duty today. So, oh, I'm very organized. I try to be. <laughs> Tyler, should he said I should make a shirt for myself that says, making lists is my superpower. Um, thanks, Anna. <laughs> I am the queen. I don't know if I'm the queen. I'm pretty high up there. There are probably a lot of other people that like to make lists, but I am a list maker. I always tease Tyler. I might not have big lips, but I have long lists and um, I am a, I make lists because if I don't write things down, you guys, it doesn't happen. And so I have to even write the smallest little things down because my brain is so full of so much stuff that it's got to get written down. And you, if I've forgotten to do something, it's because it did get it written down. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to stop jibber jabbering and flip this down. And I got a card here. Uh, this one is from Christina Bernards. So I had to put a post-it note on it. She sent me a big card. Look at this one. It's like a six incher. It's seven inches. I think it's a five by it's a five and a half by five. It's uh, bigger than your normal average bear. <laughs> so, oh, yes, lists definitely help with organizing, Deb. Definitely agree. So this one is a beautiful card using the expressions in ink, um, the, the die cut from there. And then she did some ink blending, I think, on vellum. Like we've done a, Krista helped do a class on that not too long ago. We did a bunch of Tip Tuesdays. Um, this one here, Happy Mail. Thanks for sharing, Sandy. This one came from Shirley Malarkey. Very pretty outside here. She's got a very cool gem right in the middle of the body of the butterfly. It's so cool. And she's got some matching butterfly paper. Now, you guys, this isn't Stampin' Up. I don't know what it is, but it's still beautiful. Like, just because it's not Stampin' Up doesn't mean I'm not going to show it. This is not even a handmade greeting card, but I loved this. This is from D. Estelle. Look at this. This came, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to share your address, but um, that came in this envelope with the color on the front. And then look at how that matched that. And it's a, it's a store-bought tin card, but it, she knows I love my purple. And so I got that card from Deanna Stell. Very, very cool. So that's the Happy Mail I've gotten of recent day. Um, this is a Happy Mail I got from um, D D D D Deb Norman. I was gonna try to remember off the top of my head. Deb Norman sent me a B card. So pretty, uh, very, very pretty. She did the lamb technique at the bottom and made it look like she um, ended it off with a bow. Very, very cool. And then um, inside, she's got decorated with a little flower on the inside. And then included with it, 
was a bee charm. Look at that. So cool. So I will hang that up in the hive. Thank you for that, Deb. I appreciate it. And then, okay, so that's what I've got for Happy Mails. Now, this was, I'm going to start off with the customer swap because there's only 10 of them. Now, uh, Linda asked, well, break is over. We'll catch up on the replay later. Okay, Linda, we'll see you later. Hi, Kathy Jackson. Okay, so the customer swap. Hi, hi Penny Powell. Um, the rules are a little bit different than what the rules are, guidelines are for everything else I'm going to show you. The customer swap is for people who want to use whatever they want to make their cards. It doesn't have to be, and anybody can get into the customer swap. Hi, Kathy King. Um, it can be, if you're, if you're in my community of stampers, you're welcome to join it. It's a Facebook group called Cards by Christine Customer Swap Group. And the two main guidelines are you have to at least use one Stampin' Up! current stamp and something else Stampin' Up! that could be retired or current, but like an embellishment or ribbon or gems. Hi, Sherry Martin. And then on top of it, you have to have like different like layers. You can't just have a card with one layer, nothing else on it. I mean, you got to have depth to it, nice clean edges. Like there's other rules, but the main thing is that um, two Stampin' Up! items and then anything else goes if you want to use other brands. So... So keep that in mind as I show this to you um, because I might not know everything that is going on. So this is from Carol Alanis. There was a hexagon punch back in the day. I don't know if that's what she used, but this Hooray die is from a Stampin' Up! I know that this is that new Starry Night uh, ribbon. She used the time-worn type embossing folder, and then she's got different stars. So I think the theme was uh, 4th of July. And then so what she does is she writes a little love note to me and then just kind of adds that in there and then she glues the inside so I can use this as a 4th of July card. Very pretty, Carol. This one is from Elaine Reback. I think you're watching, Elaine. She did, I think wedding might have been an option too. I think there's there's usually three themes. Wishing you a lifetime of love and laughter. Um, some of the hearts I believe here are the Stampin' Up! hearts, some glimmery pink paper, happily ever after. I love that designer paper in the back with the flowers on it. Um, I can't remember that punch that's um that die is from the tasteful labels dies if I'm not mistaken and that did not carry over so but very pretty wedding card so I'm thinking fourth of July wedding um and then what happens is I'm the host and I don't keep the cards what I do is I donate these at some point when we get a plethora of cards um, so the donation card has to have a white or a cream envelope to go with it so that when it gets donated, then the person, you know, or the group that it's donated to has an envelope to go with it. So this one is Holly Pablo. This is the first time I think Holly did the swap with us. Look at this beautiful card. She used the uh, Forever Flourishing stamps, I think. I think that's where that came from. And that's the dies. Uh, background looks like pretty flowers embossing folder. It's a wedding card, but it kind of looks like 4th of July too because it's got the reds and the blues going on. Very pretty. The rule is too, you got to stamp a little focal image on the inside so that it's complete. You know, when we make cards, we got to have insides. Okay, so I think this is, that is another one. So this one's my card. So Carol Alanis always gives me one <laughs> that I get to keep, keep. And then she has one for donating. So that was Carol's second card. This card is from Diane Rangi. Um, happy wedding day. Oh, I know this card. This was the celebration paper from August and she used the hand penned stamp set and then it's that split diagonal and we did that for a card class not too long ago. A very pretty Diane and then used some of the organdy white glitter ribbon. So she had that very, very pretty with diamonds all over. This one, Anna Rabidou, your cards are ready to pick up just so you know they're hanging in the mudroom when we make connections for the pieces. Um, to a great guy. I think Cindy Bowie's coming to pick hers up tomorrow. And, oh, who is this? Um, oh, man. I think about... So we got Cindy's is that one. And then I know if Tabitha is that one. This is Sue Somerville. Oh, I'm trying to remember who the other person in the group was. Oh, there it is. Anna, it's you. Ha, ha, oh, my gosh. I was looking all over for your name, and it's on the inside. So what we're going to do is just put that back there. So this is Anna Rebidoux's card. She did a fun fold with an easel. So she used 
the, the, the wildlife wonder or something like that. It's the, is that, <laughs> the wolf is mine, Anna. Yeah, I know. I just figured that out. The, the sticker was on the inside. Um, happy dad day for Father's Day. Oh, that one might have been the theme. Father's Day, 4th of July, or maybe wedding. Um, she used the wildlife wonder. I believe that's the set we're featuring for Let's Just Stamp next month. This die is from the Hippo and Friends. And Anna, I don't know if this paper is, um, the designer paper, is that from the... Stampin' Up designer paper or was that a different one? I'm not quite sure. This looks like an old Stampin' Up color, <laughs> the brown. I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like a light chocolate chip. All right, this one is Sue Somerville. And, oh my goodness. Yeah, so Sue Somerville. Oh, she's got a little recipe on here. Um, basic white starry sky. Ink is memento. The stamps are celebrate sunflowers and a Stampin' Up stamp her husband got at a garage sale for 10 cents. <laughs> Dated 2002. It's the girl with the flag. And then um, the DSP is from her stash. And then starlight punch. Resin stars. Okay, yeah, the stars are the current Stampin' Up uh, resin stars that with the hay. Oh, it is chocolate chip. Okay, it looked like chocolate chip to me. And Christmas celebration. Paper. Oh, from the Peaceful Prince, I bet. That dear one. Yes. Okay, very cool. All right. And then Let's Celebrate comes from the Sunflower stamp set. Very cool. Thanks for that one, Sue. All right. And then we have um, this one is Cindy Bowie. Cindy always likes to do fun folds. So you always get a different fun fold with her. Oh, look at that. So this sets like that. And then it looks like that. And then the back, it's got a score line right in the middle. Very cool technique. So it goes flat, so it's a regular A2. It's from the wave set, the wave dies and the wave stamp set, the way I call it, the waves of the future, but it's like waves of inspiration. And then this one's Tabitha Lawson, and she did a wedding card. And yeah, very nice. So it says Mr. and Mrs., and then it's, um, I, think, I don't remember what the name of the stamp set, because I have rings with nature in my head, but that's new. Um, so uh, the dies, oh my gosh. The, I loved those dies. There was from like two years ago. So very nice. Okay, so that's the customer swap, you guys. Uh, so what happens is whatever the, you sign up by the last day of the month. Woo, that's today. Anna, if you're listening, if you could in the customer cards, but help me out, girl. <laughs> If you want to go in, if you don't mind, happy birthday to Anna. You guys, it's Anna's birthday today. So shout out, happy birthday to Anna. She's watching right now, actually. She's the one that helps with all of the die cutting That for all those that take classes with me. Anna is my, my primary die cutter. So whenever you get little bits and parts that are die cut, that's Anna's wonderful um, helping me um, get that done for you guys. So I was going to say, Anna, if you have a minute to go into the Cards by Christine um, VIP group, if you could just say, hey, guys, today's the last day to sign up. Please get it in by the end of the day. That would be awesome. That would save me from having to remember to do that later. Hi, Stacy Ray. Okay, we'll flip back down. So, you guys, the new annual catalog. Um, hi, Jeannie Parker. I'm at school volunteering. Selling candy. Woohoo! <laughs> Sell lots of candy. <laughs> um, and... Um, this catalog went live on May 3rd, and so it took a little bit to get all the products together so that people could get ordered, and so now I've got swap cards that are rolling in that I can show you. And so I've got different piles of groups. Um, yeah, Master Die Cutter. She is, you guys. Um, she does a great job um, helping me get everything. You guys, when it's like, sometimes she will cut like a hundred of these little flowers just to get them in the cards, like stuff that small. Okay. So I have a, a couple different groups that I, or different groups that within the swap. And so this one was basically doing sweet swaps. So it was two cards featuring a sweet. And so I've got different, and I'll call who my, my demonstrator friends are that made these. These are from Wendy Cranford. And this is one of the, I call it a peekaboo card, but it goes like this. And then it sits up flat like that. And it, it's like the bear was popping up and saying hi. So this suite of products has the bundle, a, paper, a pack of paper, and then um, some ribbon. Uh, the ribbon is awesome. The sad thing is you get 10 yards, but you only get five yards of each color. And so you gotta, you don't get quite as much. But so there's the Happy Forest friends here. You know what, I'm gonna leave them out of plastic. Okay, and then Wendy Cranford also did, so she had to do two. And this is one of those box cards kind of where it flips down like, so it goes to like different ways, but 
I've seen people do these as calendars where they put the day there and then there's months and stuff or the months up there and then the days and then you can change it. And so on the back then, have yours unhappy for you. And this, if, it's funny, it's like it goes all different directions actually. Like there's actually a fox in there too. So you could have it go like that more and then you see the fox in the inside. The fox and the hound. Okay, so that's a little fun fold from Wendy. All different ways to fold this thing. <laughs> Open the split. So I'm not sure if I understand. Sometimes things complicate are com more complicated than I make them. So open the split by that penny. You're, I think you mean like that, right? So that you can see the fox on the inside. I think that's what you mean by open the split. I feel like it's, I'm opening its legs, you guys, and you're seeing a fox come out of this box's legs. Okay, we're moving on. Hi, Diane Bogenhagen. Okay, <clears throat> so that was Happy Forest Friends. Then we have, and I'm gonna be going bumping back and forth and bumping you know, back and forth in the catalog. I did it, perfect, thanks, Penny. So these two cards are from Miss J. Shante. And I'm not going to take everyone out of the plastic to save a little time, but I'll show them to you. So if you guys want to take screenshots of this while I'm live, all you have to do, if you're on um, your phone, my phone, I have a Samsung, you just press one side and the other side and it takes a screenshot. Like if I'm watching and I'm like, oh man, I like that card. Oh, take a screenshot of it. And then it puts it in my gallery. Okay. And then hopefully I don't lose the video. <laughs> so just so you know, guys know that you can take screenshots of this. Um, so this one is Lovely in Linen by Miss J. Shante. Really features that big focal stamp set there. All right, you guys, the hues of the happinesses. Oh man, I love this set. One of my favorites. The paper is exquisite. These cards come from Miss Deb Norman. Woohoo. Um, I think it goes like that. <laughs> I thought that was a pocket card, but it, it it's not, Deb. It tricked me. It goes like this. Very cool. So she sliced off a little off the bottom and then put a bouquet of flowers on there. And this one is a book card. So if I see that it's a fun fold, you guys, I'll try to open it up and show it to you. So I love my book cards. So very, very cool. <clears throat> Thank you so much. And that is Hues of Happiness. Then we have some sun prints. These are from Miss Kathy Miller. I love the idea. Um, yes, Jay does a great job. Um, this right here, where I love the paper piercing of the designer paper, and you don't even have to make them match up. So this one is sun prints, you guys. This is the class that's coming up next month for the featured suite <clears throat> or bundle. And so um, in here, there's an embossing folder that's that fern which you can kind of see in the background there very little bit. Um, but the silver mesh is great addition to this suite of products. That label die is awesome. I love slicing it down the middle in the back for the blue paper and then splitting them up. And then you see it on the top and the bottom. She pulled in some of the new in color dots there as well. So very cool. So that's Sun Prince. Our Tea Boutique is here in the beginning of the catalog. Um, this is Miss Sandy Carlson. She did the tea boutique. And um, what's cool about this one is there's an overlay die that die cuts over the, like it's a detail, and then you put it over the top of the teacup. And the designer paper that comes in this suite is so cool, cutting out the, um, the solid image, and then you put that die cut over the top. And then there's these little, a little tea bag in there. Wait, right there, there's a little tea bag that you can have like hanging off the cup, so cool. I'm so happy they came out with the stylish shapes dies that are stitched in like squares and rec squares and circles. Very cool. So those are some T Boutique. He's the man is over yonder right here. In this one, you've got designer paper and these awesome. These I think these are. Oh, I think these are one of my favorite embellishments out of this catalog. These rustic metallic dots. These are from a Miss. Um, Lori Miller and good morning Andrea from West Michigan um, so these are the dots they're so cool there's two sizes there's a small and a large I guess you could say they're both pretty small to me but they're pretty any guy card like you don't think oh I need to put embellishments on those are the embellishments to use this natural um, ribbon too that goes with a different suite it's so pretty mixed in with the guy cards we did a bunch for Diane and I did for the let's just stamp we have coming up 
in July, we added that to it. So um, great use of the designer paper. Look how she, <laughs> I would not want to make like a hundred of these cards because to cut that all seems like a lot of work, but <laughs> she did it. This was only 10 in this one. So it, it was reasonable. Um, hi, Patricia Pascopio. Uh, so there's, he's the man. All right, then we have the Abigail Wash, which is also called um, Abigail Rose. It's Abigail Rose, not Wash. Um, these were from Miss Carissa Alberts. So look at these beauties here. Um, she loves to do the like ink blending, the watercoloring, and just creating her own backgrounds. And I believe that's, she took that designer paper and she really colored, there's a designer paper in there that's like notebook paper, super cool. And she colored it, gave it texture. Um, lots of the faux espresso trim. Here's that linen. Or here's the where the that's where this trim comes in. This it's called a natural finish ribbon. So pretty. Used the biggest of the uh, stylish shapes and painted texture embossing folder in the back. So very. I love the browns and the creams. All right. So then we have our wash. Uh, this next one is a wash in beauty, and that one. We have Miss Rhonda Morgan made two cards here and the designer paper. That sheet right there is super cool. Hi, Mary Lemke. Um, it's in here. It's weird because you only get a bottom and a top and then you have this white area in the middle. Um, so you can use the bottom to make a super cool layout. We did too. Diane and I did that for our August Let's Just Stamp. Um, yeah, very cool. So and this is the scallop contours and she added the flowers. So um, some elegant faceted gems were used on here too and the white organdy ribbon. And then these are mine. You guys, this is maybe the first time you're seeing these. And uh, let's see here, I'll take those out because they're the same card. And um, these are, little sneak peek you guys, these are two of the cards, so texture chic is the featured uh, sweet class in July. And um, these are two of the cards. So I do them for the swap. And so there's four seasons or themes in this suite. You have the shells, you have autumnish with leaves, you have snowflakes and you have flowers. So these two cards, hi Sharon Graham, uh, but didn't miss too much. Nope, we just got started. Uh, so this is the snowflake one, and then this is the leaf one, or the leaves card, and then there'll be a flower one, and there'll be a shells card. So these are two, so if you guys like my taking my classes, make a mental note. These are two of the cards for the texture chic class in July, later in July. So that was one group. So basically, there was only one, we missed butterfly kisses in that group. Somebody, we couldn't, we couldn't fill the spot at the last minute, and so that, so we don't have for that one. So that's okay. So that's one group. And then we have, this is just a thank you card. Sarah Simon sent me a thank you card. I might as well share that. Now this is a stamp set that's in the catalog. I will be honest. I don't remember the name of it. It's on the bottom right hand side <laughs> somewhere. I think if I remember correctly, but fresh freesia and granny apple mixed with like a little bouquet of flowers and then a little strip of, oh, I get that post, it's really sticky. A little strip of um, designer paper that matches right here. So very cool. All right, that's one card from Sarah Simon made that one. Um, here's one from Kathy Miller, another one. Uh, I'm, the Wash and Beauty is what's featured here. And this is one where it's a different type of a fold. Here's that vanilla with silver edged ribbon that is um, in the new annual catalog. And so, and then this opens like that. So very cool. I love the color combination on this one. So that's Kathy Miller. I'll leave that out of the plastic. Okay, then, oh, we got more sweets. Okay, so then there's a group. I feel like I'm missing one. There should be four. Um, I'll find it. We'll wait on that one. Okay, so we've got some more for he, what is this, happy? Happy friends here. Okay, so this is a group of four cards then, and it features happy forest friends. And these are from Jeanette Swain. So using a combination of designer paper. Oh, that's from the Eden Garden, that die right there. So it makes it look like there's grass on the bottom. Very cool. So she stamped the bear, the fox, and the owl and put a little, that little labels on in the set. That's super cute. And then she used some of the ribbon. 
And then here's one with the trees die cut and the fox stamped like he's walking through the forest. And then the bear and the fox are stamped there. Oh, and he's holding the little heart and the heart's part of the die cut set. And added some brush brass butterflies. Oh, you guys, I haven't even seen these yet. <laughs> I haven't even looked through these. I got, you know, I, think I got them last week and I just haven't had a moment. Oh, look at those. That's interesting. Those are a new embellishment. I'm trying to eye them up to see what they are. Um, she used the timber embossing folder, cut out the circle, and then made it look like the owl is perched. Hi, Shannon Kemp. Um, the owl is perched on its the stump. But those little gems, I got to see here. If you go to embellishments, oh, they're those flowers. They're called the fun flower resin shapes. And they're like little flowers on the ground right next to the owl. So very cool. All right. That's happy forest, friends. All right. Then we have some more with lovely in linen, which is right here. I forget that one's in the beginning of the catalog. Okay. These are from Miss Sarah Simon. And here's one of them using that big flower and it's hard to see it, but the whole tag is embossed with that new embossing file. It's the new embossing folder with the medallions maybe. So there's a tag. Oh, that new petal pink ribbon is so cool. It's like suede -y. Very cool. And then here's this guy with some chunks of designer paper left, right. Um, and then some of the new uh, iridescent pearls. You guys, those are awesome. Very awesome. And then here's the flower. And then what she did on this, she must have fussy cut. She fussy cut the flowers and popped them up and had them sticking up, which is cool. This is another one where the edge is cut off. And then you can see the designer paper on the inside. And then here, so this is a punch that goes with this stamp set. And so that outline punches that. So that's the stamp. And then it punches out that label, which is super cool. I haven't used it yet. And then she added in some of that open weave ribbon. So that is what we have for Lovely in Linen. And, okay, we're gonna go back here. We have these are from Katherine Anderson. And she had He's the Man. I'll have to learn these page numbers too. All right, so He's the Man. So she pulled in some of the layering vellum that carried over from the spring catalog. Together for the long haul is the stamp and that fits inside that stitched circle, the stylish shape circle. Super cool. And then she embossed the background. It's actually the clouds. There's a new clouds embossing folder. And so that's what that's embossed with. This one, I'm gonna pull this open because I think this is an arm. I call these arms when it flops open like this. So that's an arm to me. And then it goes that way. Oh, it's a gift card holder too. So you can, let's see, do I have a, uh, wow, well, I thought I used to have stuff here. <laughs> there, the, there's a pocket here so that you can put a gift card in. So wishing you a happy Father's Day. Oh, that's cool. That die right there comes from this set right here. It's in there. And so what it does is it doesn't cut out. Oh, does it cut out? It must cut it out and she put it right back into it and glued it down. So very cool. So to the man who does everything, and some black classic dots, okay? And then we've got, holy smokes, you're amazing. <laughs> it's the cooking out one. So you've got the cow and the pig and all the spatula, the grilling gear. She added on opal round there. Little background stamping. It's hard to see it, but there are little background stamps on there. And then this one is, you. every day with you is another adventure. And she's got like the little camping outfit on the top and some of the evergreen um, open weave ribbon. That's nice. It adds on to here because of the evergreen. So these are awesome as well. All right. So that was He's the Man. Now we have the Tea Boutique. All right. So Tea Boutique is in the beginning. I always remember it's the first one. So these were from Miss Diane Bogenhagen. And she did a conglomeration of all the different stuff that she could in the, <laughs> the stamp set. And she used, so the suite includes these note cards and envelopes. So for two of the cards, she pulled in the note cards with the envelopes and included them in the swap. And so uh, this is, let's start with this one here. This one's the new deckled rectangles. And then she embossed it with the gingham embossing folder. So she got two layers of the deckled. 
And then that is the punch that carried over. It's like the oval occasions uh, punch. She added that little lemon is adorable. So that lemon comes in this die set. And then stamping the flowers, she used some of the designer paper to do the teacup. Very pretty, Diane. She loves, she knows I love my purple, so she's got a purple one here. And she has the like the tea bag hanging off over the side, added some pearls to the middle. Um, and all the work will have, oh, dang it, it had work. Okay, Patsy, well, you catch the replay. <laughs> um, she added some of the fresh freesia ribbon. That stitched greenery background was super cool. That fabulous frames is what I used for the Kellogg launch party for all those cards, if you guys remember. So very pretty card here. And then this one is the Orchid Oasis mixed with fresh freesia. Here's that die cut again, you guys, where it's a detail over the top of the solid image. Stitched rectangle, you guys. I didn't know this until I saw it. The stitched rectangle fits perfectly inside the scallop contour. I've always been cutting a white piece, but having that double stitching is super cool. And then the last one is Starry Night mixed with little silver and then white and vellum. She has the background is embossed with the timeless type embossing folder. And then she brushed over it with some ink to give it some color. Um, thank you for your friendship is from here. The little tag is from um, Stylish Shapes, I think. And here, what she did is she embossed the stamp with and made it silver embossing powder. And then she embossed on vellum with the silver and then die cut all these little foliage and punched all these foliage pieces out and made this like cup full exploding with foliage. <laughs> and then the um, tailor made tags and then the Starry Night ribbon on the top and the bottom here. So very pretty tea boutique cards here. And then we, oh, here might be the last one I was looking for. Okay, so now we have, this is the fourth one for, this is a wash, our wash, gotta go to the wash, um, a wash in beauty. Okay, True Beauty Bundle. This one has the iridescent pearls in them, which are super pretty. Uh, the designer paper is awesome. So this is Miss Lori Krause, and she had this suite. She used some of that rose gold um, holographic <laughs> foil back here. Um, I love the use of the tags. She's got like a green one on the bottom, and then she's got the circle, and then another one, and another one, and they're layered so cool. And then she's got a flower up at the top with some um, white frayed ribbon. And then here's... Oh, that background is part of the, the die set. But what she did is she cut it into half so that you use half, you know, you only you need to cut one, you get two cards. Um, some of the polished pink open weave ribbon. That little die, where's that from? Oh, I don't know. That little die is not part of this set. So I'm not quite sure, but I think it's adorable. It's like there's a heart that is on the sides. You guys, if anybody knows where they can find that, where that die is from, say the die that you're wondering about is from this set, if anybody can find it. Very cool. And then here what she did is, oh, that's that new punch. What she did is she punched out, and then she's got designer paper, and then that's behind there. This is the new, you guys, this is a fun fold. Let's open this up. I can see there's a belly band. And when there's a belly band, they're harder to get out <laughs> because the belly band is just a little too big usually. Okay, so we had a belly band. And that was down here. Oh, look at that. So it goes this way and a little bit like that. Look at that. Oh, and then oh, that's cool. Very, very cool. Yep, you are a true friend. And so some more of the rose gold. Okay, very cool use of the belly band. Um, Feline, I have the stitched rectangles. I will have to keep them handy. I used contour to cut centers out for your mats to save paper. Yeah, very cool. All right, so the label die is from the Huron Habitat Bundle. Way to go, Anna. That's awesome. Yay. Okay, so you guys, that label back here is from Huron Habitat. Okay, and then the last one. Oh, I like this concept. I've done this maybe once or twice where you put the like a the focal the paper behind and then you kind of mat up because there is height you can see they're kind of popped up and then that top is embossed the sentiment here and the flower is going up the edge and that's that new old olive ribbon that goes with the happier than friends set so all right so there's our a wash in beauty and then okay guys sneak your peeker if you like my classes this is my class for August. Yep. Worked really far ahead. So I had Abigail Rose 
which is right here. So this is the featured sweet class or bundle class that I have in August. So I really haven't shown these or put them out there yet into the world, but these are them. Uh, so this one has that natural ribbon designer paper. The stamps are awesome. Lots of good focal images and sentiments. And so these are the four cards for the Abigail Rose class that I'm having in July, um, August, August. <laughs> so I love this. And it's a split card uh, die that got used in the back. That's that notebook paper that I was talking about and then stamping. So all of these, if you guys take this class with me, all of the flowers are colored with a Stella pen and putting ink on a acrylic block and dipping your Stella pen in and coloring. You could use blends if you wanted, but I definitely went crazy on the Stella. Um, I don't know if you guys can see um, shimmeriness in there, but there, you could use a blending marker too, but definitely used a Stella pen. So here's the second one. And so lots of flowers got used again. Um, the, um, I pulled in the rose gold foil a lot. Thanks, Diane. And then this one, you pulled in some of that rose gold metallic glimmer paper. You are positively the greatest. So I tried to use all the different sentiments. And then here's the last one with the navies and the gray granite with it instead of the browns. So all these flowers are colored in with Stella. And, um, but honestly, if you guys do the class to go, you could use whatever you wanted to color them, but they all are stellarific. So this is Abigail Rose, and this is the class for August for the sweet class. So, all right. Then we have Sun Prince, and Sun Prince is one of my favorites. That's the featured sweet class coming up in June. Um, I've showed those cards in the showcase over the weekend, but these are from Miss Carissa Alberts. Uh, she had the sweet Sun Prince. She used the fern embossing folder on vellum here. Stylish shapes. And then she pulled in some elegant faceted gems there. The blues and the grays are so cool. So she pulled in Pacific Point on this one with the Knight of Navy. Then these are those um, rustic adhesive dots. Um, yes, Penny, just text me or email me and say that you want me to put your name on the list. I can put you guys on the list already for that class, no problem, just to make sure I got you on there. This one is gray granite with the Knight of Navy, and there she stamped that flower opposite colors, and then best wishes and happy thoughts is an amazing stamp set for any kind of a versatile card. Adora said this is her favorite. Yeah, I love this one. Time-worn type embossing folder in the back. That mesh is very pretty pulled in with this one. And then this one is a fun fold because it goes a little bit like that and a little bit like that. So um, yeah, Hildy, just follow up, you guys. Uh, my brain is still um, waking up, so I'm going to try to remember to put you guys both down for that. But if you just want to say, hey, sign me up for um, Abigail Rose, I will do that. So that is Sun Prince. Okay, we got a couple more for the sweets for that are swapping. Um, we have the Hues of Happiness. And this was done by Kathy Miller. And so, you guys, I just, this, I don't know. This might be one of my, the, oh, there's like three of them that I love. And this is one of them that's pretty high up there. I, just because I think it has more purple in it. But I love all the flowers and all the words and the sentiments. The designer paper is exquisite. So, this dye comes in this set as well. So, it gives it that really cool texture. She used the Fresh Freezer with, I believe it's Gorgeous Grape. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. That's from that um, Label Me Fancy Punch, I think. Um, and then here's Gorgeous Grape with Freesia, the time-worn type embossing folder back there. That is my favorite embossing folder. Be oh, no, painted textures. They're tied. They're both very subtle and versatile. And then best wishes. This one is one of those folds where it's got has two arms. The Hey Sports fan was very similar where it goes like this and then like that. So, um she stamped in Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo and used some of the designer paper there. The dots are so cool. These are part of this suite, these glossy dots. And then this notebook edge is super cool. So that's part of one of these dies as well here. And it makes it look like notebook paper, like you just ripped it out of the notebook. Super, super cool. Stitch greenery on the side. So, all right. So that's the Hues of Happiness. And the other group was an in-color group for the sweet swap. And so Candy Michael, Miss Candy Michael made all of these cards. They were all the same. 
but all featuring the new ink colors. So you have Starry Night, and this is the Sweet Songbirds stamp set. So you have, and she did a paper pierce, like the, the patching kind of where you have the sections of designers. So you got to see all the different prints. So you had Starry Night, or Starry Sky. Hi, Stacey Burns. Parakeet Party, Sweet Survey, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. So super cool that you have the ability with the same card to see all the different colors. She pulled in the different like glittery ribbon, used the different stamp sets. So you got to re really get to see all the different, the different products, like the different colors in the product. So, so that is an in color group for Sweet Songbirds. And then there's another group that um, hmm. <laughs> Wait, is it on the table? Oh, it's on the table yet. Okay, I'm gonna go get it off the table really quick. Hang on. I guess I didn't have enough arms to carry everything. So, all right, so then there was another grouping of sweets. And so there's gonna be a back and forth. I'll go through all the sweets again. So there was a Sun Prince, way in the beginning here. Sun Prince, where are you? Right there. So Sun Prince was done by Miss J. Shante. And so this, she mixed Starry Night with Parakeet Party. I believe this is a fun fold because it goes like that. And so it's cool because then you get to open it up. Hi, Carla Lake. Hi, Donna Simmer. Um, you get to see the designer paper on the inside, which is cool. She took two of the baker's twines and made a bow, a double bow with the different colors, which is cool. And then here is, so she, what she did, it's, oh, let's see if I get the light right. She must have put ink in the embossing folder and I don't know if you can see, there's darkness in the depths there. She must have had embossing powder in, not powder, ink inside the embossing folder. And so, it kind of took on an antique look. Super cool. Uh, that stamp is part of this set. Um, stylish shapes, you guys. Oh, they finally... So I was sad when they got rid of the stitched shapes. And then they came up with stylish shapes. <laughs> so I'm good again. <laughs> All right. T-Boutique was done by... Hi, Pat Dutlesson. Jeanette Swain had T-Boutique. And so these are her two cards. There's that overlay again. I just love that overlay. I think it would be so pretty like with a glimmery or a foil paper too. Very cool. She did um, a series of different three designer papers to showcase them off. And then here, the heart must be in here. No, the heart is from Give It A Whirl, I'm guessing. Stitched greenery dyes, the pretty flowers embossing folder. Some very bright, cheerful colors. And then we have a lovely in linen. Back to this one. This was Miss Lori Krause. I... This is a thick card. Hang on, we gotta open this up. I'm like, what is going on here? There's a lot of layers to this. Well, okay. It's just, there's, it's, it feels heavy. <laughs> okay, I love it with the, the triangles, right? So she's got these two offsetting and then these two offsetting. That's the label with the punch. And then she must have put the punch facing the other way because it's underneath up there. And then the green sticks out there. And this is that soft succulent ribbon carried over. Um, opal rounds. And then inside, thank you. And then this one's three strips of designer paper. So you can kind of see the different patterns that are in there. And that embossing folder is part of the suite. It's called quarter foil. Um, it's quarter foil tile embossing folder. And it looks like mosaic e to me. Okay. All right, you guys. If you got in symmetry, that stamp set from last year, I feel like this in symmetry matches it very nicely. All right, Happy Forest Friends was done by Miss Sandy Carlson, and she had issues with her stamp set. So she, I guess when so she ordered them, like the images didn't stamp appropriately. So if that ever happens to you guys, just know that that's not normal. And so she couldn't really use the stamps for the cards, but what's cool is the designer paper has these critters on them, and she could just cut out uh, the critters to put on her card and she cut that tree out. So that's actually designer series paper on here versus it being stamped. And then here she's got her three different um, designer papers showing off. Those little labels. 
that's from the stylish shapes as well. I believe that those that's where they come from because there's some banners in there. All right, then we have some best butterflies or they're called butterfly kisses. These are from Sarah Simon and let's see what they look like. Oh, cool. Okay, there's a belly band. So let's see what we have here. So got a butterfly on the front, sending you good vibes. This, oh, these are those flowers that were on that other card. Um, mm, hang on, that's Velcro, maybe, hang on. I feel like, oh, it's gotta slide off. It's a tight fit. Okay, hang on, that's not glued. There it is, okay, so, oh, I like this. Okay, and then this comes up like that. So this is just a square scored and like diagonally on the middle. And then the, I'm betting that the bottom is glued underneath. And, oh, I like that. That would be a cool fun fold to do for celebration because the, you get free paper for celebration. And then, oh yeah, Sarah, this is awesome. <laughs> it's fun having fun folds. <laughs> So you guys might see this layout in the future. Oh, yes. Very cool. Different paper, different stamp set, but definitely copying that layout. <laughs> All right. And then her other one, this one too. I like this. It's, it flips up like this. So you're my bestie. And then there's a die cut. So these die cuts are super cool. If you love butterflies, this set's for you. And she cut all these out individually. So glad you exist. So very cool. On that crinkle white ribbon carried over. We have a wash in beauty. Uh, so fancy. I know, Amy, right? <laughs> um, this is Bonnie Schmitz. She had a wash in beauty. And that's that pretty paper, that one, that one pattern right there. That just, I love the flowers. It's so easy. The oval occasions, some stylish shapes, scalloped contours, put the designer paper in the middle, added ribbon on both, and some gems. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And then... Okay, you guys, this one's mine. Hues of Happiness is what I had. And these are two cards that are being used for ink, paper, scissors. So if you watch the showcase, hi, Zaina. If you watch the showcase over the weekend, I or Friday maybe or Saturday, these are, I did them in different colors though because I had to go more along the lines with pink. And so for the swap, I chose more purple because, <laughs> because it worked out that way. But I, like, I like this card right here. I love the purples. So that paper back there, there's one of these sheets that's uh, it's pink on one side and purple on the other side. And then Fussy Cut, um, <laughs> I've called in the reinforcements. So I don't know if Barb Collins is going to watch this or not, but Barb Collins helped me cut out a plethora of all these little flowers because all these flowers you guys are from the designer paper not stamped at all <laughs> so oh they were really they're really pretty and nicely colored but there are a lot of fussy cutting so barb happened to stop over one day last week while i was working on swap cards and i'm like barb do you want to cut out some flowers when she cut out flowers for two hours for me so thank you to barb for that um some of the glossy dots got added on here so in case you're wondering what i did this is this is similar to ink paper scissors but this is really ink, paper, scissors, what, what we're going to be doing for class. Same, similar layout, but just showing you different color combinations. And then this one, instead of purple, you have the ability to make it pink instead. Very similar look. And then these are the other two. So this is ink, paper, scissors for next month, you guys. In case you haven't watched the showcase video, then you can see what's coming up in June for ink, paper, scissors. All right, then this one is... Abigail Rose and um, Rhonda Morgan had this one. Very pretty. The, just the colors in this with the softness, with the tans and the petal pinks. It's very s soothing. Um, she cut a little tag out with that notebook paper. I just love that notebook paper. And then she tied some ribbon on the top, colored her flower, added some of the classic matte dots. Here she stamped the flower a bunch to create a background. So in there, Good use of the vanilla with silver ribbon kind of ties in the whole card together. And then last but not least is Carissa. She had texture chic. And to complete the texture chic class, you guys, this is what 
Carissa created and she's like, you can case my cards for class. And I'm like, yay. So this is gonna be very similar for the um, the rest, the other two cards. So I said that there's gonna be a flower, a snowflake, a leaf, and then the shells. So you guys already saw the leaves and the snowflakes. Um, I did alter it just slightly. So this is Carissa's swap card. And then this one, she did a little card inside of a card kind of where you flip this up and then you open it and it looks like that so so and then that shell kind of like sneaks in there so those are what she had created and I'll show you just to show you I slightly changed them um not very much at all but so the other two cards I haven't embellished mine yet I literally got these done yesterday um I haven't embellished mine yet but you can see they're very similar um, I just changed up the pattern of the flower. So I put the flower down here and I used the scallop contour scallop and I added a circle and then added the, the ribbon in a different manner. So this is going to be the class card for Texture Chic along with this one, which is very similar to Chris's. Um, it's got the little like pocket card like that. And yeah, so you guys, the sweet classes for June, July, and August are all done. So you've seen them now, pretty much in case you missed. So these are Aunt Carissa's swap cards. And then in case you missed the sun prints, these are what, these are, were not swap cards, but this is sun prints for next month for the class that I'm doing. So you guys have just pretty much all seen the sweets, the classes for June, July, and August. So there you go, <laughs> working ahead. Okay, so now we have some more random cards, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna like be organized about this, but um, I'll go through, show them to you if I can remember the names of the stamp sets, great, and if I can't, then I don't know. <laughs> so um, so this one is from Miss J. Shante using scallop contours or color, color and contour. I don't know if I'm gonna try to find them in the book or not, but I'm gonna try to talk through them. Uh, this was a carryover set from, that's really shiny, um, that was a carryover set from last catalog, um, and so it carried over, which is awesome. I could not tell you um, where that designer paper comes from in the background, but because these are all kind of random stamp sets and bundles that, yeah, um, the white seam, seam binding ribbon was colored with a marker there, so very cool. Yes, these the cards are so awesome. Um, this one is from Carissa and I'm thinking that it's fabulous flour flourishing, fa fabulous flourishing. Um, and then that flips up. Oh, that's different. And then you can write whatever you want right there. And then the sides are decorated. Super cool. And then that window pane checkered ribbon, Diane Bogenhagen's favorite ribbon carried over. And then I love this die set. I love to add these little foliage pieces. All right. This one, wildlife. Nope. Um, Dragonfly Dreams or something. It's the, um, it's gonna bother me. It's something with dragonflies. I wanted to say Honey Bee Home, but it's Dragonfly Garden. Okay, Dragonfly Garden. This is from Bonnie Schmitz, and she's got a piece of vellum in the back here, which adds just a different element. <laughs> this is cool. She took this stamp and she ombre it with ink and then stamped that. Very cool. Got dragonfly wishes. Yes, Diane. Perfect. And then some brush brush butterflies. This one was the Christmas set that carried over like Christmas to remember. Uh, this is Lori Krause. I saw this and I'm like, wow, I would never have thought to put together like Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay and Flirty Flamingo for a Christmas card. But I'm like, this is very retro-y. And it's like, pulling in the petal pink and the vanilla and the silver. And I'm like, oh, I, this is like creative and I love it. And I'm like, it would be a, I would love to get this Christmas card in the mail. She added the iridescent rhinestones. And I'm like, huh, it's, if you're not into the traditional Christmas or if you're in only the traditional Christmas colors, you might not be so excited, but I got this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this color combination. So cool. Very different. Um, Christmas to remember, I think. This one is uh, Celebrate Sunflowers. Miss Deb and Norman did this one. I believe that this flips up that way and that flips down. Super cool, Deb. Celebrate Sunflowers. She did a lot of work die cutting all those. She styled it all up. 
added some linen thread, some of the um, da, 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 the their copper and bronze the dots that carried over. <laughs> so those are cool too. This one's mine, you guys. You guys might recognize this card. This is um, the swap card I did, but it's for the monthly class for June using Flowers of Friendship. And so this is a class card for June that's coming up. It uses some of that penciled paper. This one is from Miss Rhonda Morgan and uh, Amazing Silhouettes was what she used here for the stamp. And then the splatters background. It's really hard to see it, but that top piece is embossed with the splatters background. Um, some of the in-color designer paper. The checkered gingham, or that gingham black and white carried over as well. This one is from, oh, Jennifer Merle Hampshire. She had sweet songbirds. She used, I think it's pool party and vanilla. And this flips up that way, and that flips down that way. Cool. So it's like she's got an arm on the top and a flap on the bottom. And you've got something to celebrate, a little birdie. Perfect. And then this is that punch set. So that punches out, and the bird punches out. Maybe not the basket, but I think the bird punches out. So that sweet songbird is very cool. Thanks for that, Jennifer. Uh, this one comes from Miss J. Shante. So the potted geraniums is what Diane and I are featuring for our Let's Just Stamp in August. And so this is an example with the pot of geraniums. I love that little stake in there. There's three little words that fit in there. It's um, for you, smile, and friend. All, all different sentiments you can put in there. And then the fonts in that set are so cool. Birthdays are reminders that life should be celebrated. Oh my goodness. Like, yay, I love that sentiment. So I'm um, asking me my go-to for birthdays. Um, this brick um, and mortar embossing folder, and I don't know how she did it. It looks like she did designer paper, but then she also added ink somehow because these insides of all the bricks are darker. It's so cool. Very cool card. And then this one is the Garden Birdhouses set done by Jeanette Swain. She used that die cut that cuts out those little circles. And then she has things hanging in the background and then added the clouds from um, the Give It a Whirl, I think, is where those are from. Um Yes. Oh, great Florida Christmas card. Yeah, Penny, this one. Yeah, that would be a great Christmas card down in Florida. Absolutely. It reminds me of flamingos because of the flirty flamingo and like the ocean is kind of bluish like that. Yeah. Um, hi, Stacey Warner. So this is from Bonnie Schmitz. Um, the Sending Smiles bundle, I believe. A card to say, sending a card to say hello. Very cool. And then she's got the little bits and parts die cut out. Gingham embossing folder in the back using some of the Baker's Twine and Tahitian Tide. I like that she put the colors of the centers of the flowers in blue, actually, and not yellow, because it kept it all kind of the colors cohesive. This one was from Miss Deb Norman. She had the pansies, the pansy patch, I think is the name, uh, painted texture embossing folder, some of the Starry Night ribbon, a little hello from me to you, some of the designer paper from the in color, Opal rounds, brush brass, butterflies, very pretty pansies. So my grandpa loved pansies. And so I bought, every year I try to buy a pansy plant in purple and that's out there. And my mom came the other day and she's like, oh, I love that you have a pansy plant. It reminds me of my grand, you know, my dad and your grandpa. And so yes, pansies hold a special heart, a special place in my heart. This one is the new lighthouse. Thanks for sharing, Amy. Um, and everybody, thanks for sharing. I, I, when I can see them that you guys share, I appreciate it and try to call it out, but I don't always see it, but I always appreciate you guys sharing. This one is super cool. So this one is from Sarah Simon. This is that cloud background. It's so subtle that I don't know. If I take the plastic off, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's little lines back here, and then there's a cloud right there. And so all this die cutting is so cool. And the little faux sea glass shapes carried over, that is from this set, this little pointy, um, pointy die cut. The clouds are from the wave set. So pretty. Always here for you. And then she stamped it on the inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to case this card for a class because I have the lighthouse point on my set or on my radar for a class card. And this would be great, you guys, because all you'd have to do is stamp a sentiment because all this is die cut um, for you. Um, you'd have to do something sponging here, but then it's stamping on the inside. This is a great like online class card. <laughs> all right. Carissa Alberts, I think she did this one just for me because it's all about the bees. It's the Honey Bee Blessings, I think. And then there's another fun fold. It's black and 
uh, Crush Curry, if I'm not mistaken. And then the pencil designer paper, another fun fold. The Hive embossing folder carried over. Super cool. And she's got lots of foliage coming out. Yes, very cool card. This one is the Huron Habitat done by Lori Krause. <clears throat> Excuse me, pulled in. That's the texture chic um, designer paper. Those are the, the, I can't remember the name. I got to look them up because it's bothering me. It's something with, at he's, it's these guys, right there. Brushed metallic dots. Okay, as long as I got it open. They're right there. Brushed metallic dots. They come in copper, gold, and a bronze. And these are the copper ones. And they go so well with the petal pink. And she did a whole spongy background look. It's so cool. Yes, very. Here on Habitat. Hello, Sandy Smith from Taylorville, Illinois. All right, so that was Lori Krause. Here is the elephant one. Yeah, the blending. She did a great job. And I love the blue. It's purple on the bottom. You know, you could always switch it up and put a blue bottom. But I love that she did purple and pulled in fresh freesia. This one is the elephant set. I can't remember the name. Rhonda Morgan had this one. This is a die cut set, though. So you can stamp or die cut. I don't know what the elephant. You know, I haven't researched this one very much. Let's just look at this. I don't know much about him. I didn't get this one yet. Elephant's Parade, page 48. Look at this. So you got all different elephant stamps, but then you have all the dies to go with. And there's peanuts in there. Haha. <laughs> it's like more a baby. Oh, there's a mouse. Ha, <laughs> that's where he is. Okay, and there's a little baby butterfly. Okay, so that's Elephant's Parade. And I like the, it's a, this would be a great kids card. Um, interesting indeed, cute card. Oh yeah, this one's definitely, it's very intriguing. It's very, yeah, the colors go together so nicely. This one's more, like more kidsy to me. Like if you need a kid's birthday card, this would be awesome. Bright, cheerful colors. And it, like definitely great for a little boy. Um, so Rhonda did that one. This one is from Sandy Carlson. This is that vin uh, the bottles set. There's the, the punch, and there's bottles and flowers. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> bottles and cans, just clap your hands. <laughs> um, there's bottles in there. Um, bottled happiness is maybe the name. And these are some in colors. Um, hi, Glenda Williamson, watching you while making table favors. Yay! <laughs> Hope they go well. Um, in color designer paper, and then so it's parakeet with orchid oasis for this, and then a little baker's twine. And then um, this one, you guys might remember this one. So I did this card for <laughs> two things, the Winter Creative Escape, and also it was part of the May monthly class. But if you guys recall, I used Heart and Home paper on the top because that was current at the time. That's not carried over. So I had to kind of reconfigure this card. And there's a new Ray of Sunshine stamp set. And it's not a stamp set. It's just a background stamp. And so that's stamped in the back here, and it makes it look like the sun is exploding all over the sky. And so this was the Let's Set Sail bundle that did carry over. These are the issues we had those with those birds that they made them look really smushy if you don't stamp them good. So that was my reconfigured um, class card into a swap card. Okay, so there's a lot of randomness there, you guys. I hope you're doing okay. We're on hour seven. I have more. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. I am going to take a drink of water, though, because... A girl's getting thirsty. Hi, Linda Hall. Woohoo. Okay. So we have more like random cards. I tried to order them together by um, theme. So um, I didn't do so hot on the sun prints one because I feel like there's more sun prints and I'm going to save that for with the sun prints. Okay. So there's a set in there. Oh, you guys. It's, oh, who knows what the name of this one is. I'll have to show it to you. So it's something with the koalas. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to find it really fast. I don't know it off the top of my head. I don't know. It's got different pandas and koalas. Um, yes, thanks Patsy. Yeah, there's a lot of talent here. Hi Barb Johnson. There's a panda and a koala and then there's a red panda. So this one is done by Miss Wendy Lee. She took that fern embossing folder with like bronze foil and then there's like a green undertone and don't ask me I don't know how she did it but and then here's he's the man designer paper the stylish shapes some of those rustic dots got added to it as well from that he's the man and she's just the the panda is so pretty so nice I like it um wild and sweet thanks Patsy yes what you guys this is wild and sweet yes perfect then this one is from Miss Carissa Alberts 
she is, it opens this way and then this opens that way and then it's a note of thanks. And she loves to color. So she did a great job coloring the koala in the tree. Very, very cool. The side here is the timber embossing folder on the side. So wild and sweet, you guys. Um, yep, if you guys can help me out with this one too. Judy Garza made this card and uh, Kathy Miller made this one. But is it the... Um, those hexagon dies, they are in the spring catalog, they carried over the hexagon dies. But then there's stamps that kind of fit in with them. These two cards are very similar to me, so I put them together. They're not similar in colors or layout, but they both had the hexagon things going on. Um, this one's embossed with the fern embossing folder. This one's got some of the in colors, a sweet sorbet mixed, I think, with either daffodil or crushed curry. This one's evening evergreen with some soft succulent in it. Um, it's the hexagons that, that I wasn't so excited about. I don't know. I, those cards are cool. I love the die. I think I bought the dies. I'm trying to see if I can find. I know where it is in here. It was a suite in here. Abstract Beauty. Okay, 48. I love the dies. What did I say? 48. Um, I love the dies in here. So this was, this carried over. Oh, Hello Beautiful. And so the dies carried over, the stamps that carried over, but what happens is these words came from a different new set with Sarah Simon, I think, had, um, I don't wonder if it's with this one. Oh, those are different flowers. I was going to say, oh, I wondered if they're the same, but they're different flowers. Beautiful shapes. Okay, thank you. I needed help there, you guys. Um, those sayings are awesome. Wishing you the best day ever. Like, that's so great. You could have that for any kind of card, basically. <laughs> All right, so good. Thank you for that help. Beautiful shapes. All right, then we have another tea boutique. This one comes from Amanda Waldhart, and she had some of the ink colors mixed in here. I just can't thank you enough. Some little hearts, stylish shapes, uh, the oval, um, the circle frames, and then a mixture of designer paper. Uh, this one is from Miss Bonnie Schmitz. Okay, so this is a card, you guys. I cased this card for the my class, just to show you a difference. Um, this is why I swap. I need inspiration. I need help. I can't do it all by myself coming up with all these fabulous cards. So, well, where did it go? <laughs> it's right there. So, this is the card that I got. And in order to kind of make a card your own, we always talk about changing at least three things on a card. And so this is the card that I made for class. And so changing the background paper, changing the designer paper, and I reduced the size of the white. I added yellow to the back. I added a ribbon, uh, the, the lamb technique. I changed up the embellishments. And I kind of use the same flowers, but the same. But this is what it means to case a card, where I looked at this card, and I'm like, oh, I love this card, but I want to put my own twist and flair on it. And I don't want to copy her card exactly to give you guys a class card. And so that's what casing is all about, to get ideas from a card and then just making it your own. And we always say the rule of thumb is to change at least three things, if not more. And so you can see how I got the idea and then where I got, where I went with it. So... That's just an example of, and then giving credit, like, you know, Bonnie, I got her the inspiration from Bonnie. It was a fabulous card. Um, and then this one is the Abigail Rose. I'm done by Carissa Alberts. This is one of those pocket cards where this slips up. And look at what she did. She scored all of those lines. And then she took an ink pad and just like went whoosh over the top of it. And then she did another one and went whoosh over the top of it. And it ended up looking like that. And she could probably explain it better. <laughs> but it so turned out awesome. So that's Abigail. No, this is Hues of Happiness. This is Hues of Happiness stamp set. I'm sorry, it's not Abigail Rose. Abigail Rose and Hues of Happiness, both flower sets, both awesome. Um, Rhonda Morgan did this. So it's got a fold there. And then she's got the stylish shape, added a little white baker's twine bow. It's hues of happiness. I know. Thanks, Carissa. I, I caught it. I caught it, I think, after I saw your note. <laughs> Keeping me honest, you guys. It's all good. Then this one is from Miss Amanda Waldhart. So this is the Sweet Songbirds again. And in its little nest, stylish shapes. You guys are seeing a lot of the stylish shapes being used. Uh, the contour, scallop contour edge here. It's your special day. Some of the parakeet, uh, Tahitian Tide on that one. So this one's uh, Hues of Happiness or Happiness Abounds. This is from Lori Krause. 
It's another thick card. She must put dimensionals on the whole back side because it's all <laughs> popped up. The gold shimmer ribbon carried over and she did a little bouquet of flowers. She embossed this gold on the vellum. So she embossed the outline of that flower to give it some texture. Elegant faceted gems. And here's another sweet songbirds. This one is done by Sandy Carlson. So very similar cards, but different. They, you know, this gal, Sandy used the circle and Amanda used the square. Um, got the little rufflage on the bottom here and here just kept it a solid piece, but very, very similar cards. And here she added the punch out of that to make its little lips. So, all right. Okay, so that's one little chunk. All right, here's another chunk that we'll do. Okay. He's the Man, done by Amy Combs. Uh, Amy, when I get swap cards from Amy, she loves her layers, which I love layers. And so I love it when she does tags and layers. And she added some of those, my favorite embellishment there, those rustic dots, um, to the man who does everything. And then she's got that popped up, a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer, a layer, like this. <laughs> so many layers, you guys. Now you know where I get it from. I love layers. And so um, that's why you guys get lots of cards from me with layers. And then in the inside, she's got one, two, three layers, four layers. So very cool. Um, I like the soft succulent with the brown. It's like, and then the crumb cake mixed in with the tailor-made tag. So stapled on to make it less frilly, right? So you staple that tag on. Uh, this one is from Sandy Carlson. And it's the strips of designer paper. She used those rustic metallic dots. The faux espresso ribbon goes really great with the sweet as well. This die comes from that set. Here's one. Okay, so I'm going to show you another example of how I cased a card. The reason I swap, you guys, is to get ideas. I got this card. It comes from Lori Miller. Love the layout. I'm like, oh my gosh, super cool. I loved that checkered dot thing, the die cut, and then the vellum, and then a layer designer paper, and then I loved that. So I'm like, okay, so I went upstairs, and I ended up with this, which is what I use for ink, paper, scissors, but you can kind of see where I, I got my layout from. So got, I added a, an extra layer here, but I took a cardstock die cut, but then I put the vellum and the designer, and then I added a square, and I used the waves die. But this is the card that I looked at primarily to come out with this. So you can see I changed more than three things. I changed like a, like a lot. I just kind of took the concept of the layout. But you guys, that's why I swapped, just to get ideas. So that one was an awesome one for an idea. So this one came from Candy Michael. Uh, it's so it's so cool because this is kind of like how Carissa made her shell card. You have a little pocket on the side here, and then you have a little card, and it opens up like that. And so I'm pretty sure she put a piece of vellum in here so that the black did not rub onto the white. Um, people have told me in the past that sometimes when, and I maybe once or twice have gotten cards where in the mail, the color will rub off on the white. And so I'm gonna start switching things up, I think, for when I send you guys cards. I'm gonna start putting, um, I, I don't know, I can't help it really when the card is like this, but my little, somebody's told me that when I put um, the Inspire Create Share on the inside of your cards, that sometimes that wears off, like the ink wears off on the inside. And so I'm curious if you guys have ever gotten that where it's rubbed off on the card. So I think that's why she put the vellum in here. Hi, Mitzi Stanley. And then that little pocket is so cool. It fits right in there. So this is that bottled or brewed for you. This is brewed for you uh, stamp set. So very cool. This is brewed for you as well. This is Wendy Cranford. Uh, she likes to do her fun folds too. This is that cut. <laughs> it's like you need a pattern to do a card like this. And you open it up and that's what you got. Ah, I got goo. You guys, I got to get the goo off. It was like a little glue ball there. Okay, so that flips like that. And then I got a little belly band action going on. Oh, ale, yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. Shaker card, Diane Bogenhagen. She did the sweet survey with Parakeet Party. And she added some, I think the glimmer um, paper, the in-color glimmer papers behind there. These little beaded frosty beads are amazing. Um, you guys, there's going to be a class card with this for sometime this summer where I'm going to use the shaker dome here for the bottle and you guys will make a card similar to this. So very cool. This is the bottles as well. This one comes from Sandy Carlson. She's blushing bride, uh, with more of a white scallop contour and then a gray. Look at that little adorable bow that she made. 
Here's another one with this uh, bottle. Um, okay, so this is the card, you guys, in case you're wondering. I use this card for my inspiration to make this card. So, very cool. Um, that frame is, I'm like, okay, the frame, yep. And then I used a different stretched rectangle, and then I just went different with my inside. But super cool, like, use of that frame and outlining it. So, that's cool. This one comes from Amanda Waldhart. This one comes from Judy Garza. Um, she embossed white on the Starry Night scalp contour layers, some of the white crinkle ribbon, and then um, on the inside, I don't know. Oh, thank you. So send, So this is a cool thing. Sending sunshine and good feelings your way. Thank you. And then a little strip on the bottom. Okay, this one's from Miss J. Oh, Carissa. I was going to say, oh, and this one's Jay Shante. Okay, I was going to be, I was like, knew I had two of them. This one's from Carissa. I think she... She went all for me because of the, um, it's like Orchid Oasis in black. It's super cool. Sending a note of thanks. I love the color combination here with the black and the parakeet party. She really featured the in colors on this one. And that's that die cut, adding some silver metallic mesh and some rhinestones. So pretty. I love it. Love it. And then this one with uh, Jay Shante. She took the bark and uh, bark and brick and mortar embossing folder and then she embossed clear all over and stamp those flowers on probably before she embossed it. Um, very, very pretty. I'll, I'm not gonna open up the inside, but I know it's on added some pearls. So cool. This was mine. You guys rec might recognize this. This was the class card basically for the Kellogg launch party, except for I used the Tea Boutique notes and note cards and envelopes. But for the swap, I just used the Orchid Oasis card bases. And so there's the sending with the flowers. This one comes from Jeanette Swain. Uh, different layers of the Tahitian Tide in the background, some stitched rectangles, the scallop contour, little baby flowers on there. Very bright, cheerful card. And this is that Sending Smiles as well. Here's another one. This one comes from Lori Miller. Um, this big die is part of that Christmas set that carried over with the pine cones, painted Christmas or Christmas to remember. So that big background, and then she put uh, some stamps, die cut them out, and then um, glued them on here. Some linen thread. She Sending comfort and strength. I love the sending smiles. It's one of my favorite uh, bundles in the new catalog. This one is from Rhonda Morgan. You know, when I look at this, it actually looks like presents stacked on top of each other, and then she put a bow on the top to make it look like they're presents. So it says a card to say hello. She used some of the in-color dots on there and the flowers. Uh, stitched greenery background. This is Diane Bogenhagen's over the top wisteria card. I had to tease her because I'm like, it looks like grapes, but it's not. It's wisteria. And so this is that wisteria, wisteria. Oh man, am I freezing? I'm freezing, you guys. I hope you're not freezing. Let's see here. What's going on? I look down and I see freezing. Oh, and I'm not freezing anymore. Okay, good. Life is back to <laughs> back to normal. Okay, so this is a die set that is in the new annual catalog, and it's it's it's. I know the name is Wisteria, but you guys, I'll I'll, I'll show more on the card. But we're gonna look at the set really quick. I I did just get it. Wisteria wishes ninety two. I knew I was gonna get it, but I'm a little bit afraid to design a card with it because I would design a card similar to Diane's. Um, so here's the bundle. And then I would be afraid for Anna because of all the die cutting. <laughs> so I'm thinking about how I can case this card. But I, there's the brick and mortar background. She used the oval occasions punch, a little grass on the bottom, the vine that goes up and over, some butterflies in there. Is is a heavy card, you guys. It's like a 10-pound card. Um, it's a beautiful card. You're right, Deb. Awesome here. So um, here's another Wisteria card by Sarah Simon using the ink color Orchid Oasis with Parakeet Party. Uh, and she stamped the wisteria and then die cut them. Added some a little ribbon. Okay, you guys, we're almost there. I have another stack just like this stack. So we'll put those here and grab the rest of them. I have falling card stacks here. So let's grab these and these. We're getting down to the end. This is all I have left. So we did good. We did good. So that's what we have left. And... Okay, so what happens to these cards now? Um, hi, Terry Costin. Um, these cards go um, on my swap boards, and they're on display for people here in the hive to see. 
whenever they come to class and I shop off my boards when I need ideas and inspiration. <laughs> so this one is from Katherine Anderson. Sun prints, you guys, I love the idea of this picture frame thing in the background and that's the stylish shapes cut twice and then the inside's taken out and then the, the, the frame is popped up. Super cool. Pacific point with some of the designer paper, one of the Baker's twine bows and a stylish shape circle. So very pretty. And then sun prints again, but completely different look, you guys. Same product, different, different look. This is more on the gray granite side. This is Rhonda Morgan. She used the label dye, which is one of my favorites now. Uh, this, she stamped the greenery and the foliage more in a green and petal pink. Added a little gray granite shimmer bow, the elegant faceted gems, but different look compared to all the blues that we've been seeing. Very cool. So here's one with the blues, Lori Krause. <clears throat> she did that label and she added the foliage pieces around it. Um, I'm guessing that this is an arm that flips that way and then that flips that way. Hello there. That grungy, splotchy look is from this stamp set, you guys, the Sun Prints. So if you like to add textury background just to make it so it's not so white, there is a splotchy stamp set in this set. Okay, and then here's another one. This is from Lori Krause. So she went with the glimmer paper and tried to showcase off all of the, like the ombre look with the, the glimmer paper. So these are all the ink colors. Uh, she stamped in clear and parakeet party and green and cut out that from vellum and added the garden, the garden green, the parakeet party shimmer. Um, I think she even colored the embellishments. They look like the elegant faceted gems and she colored them parakeet party. So that one's Lori Crow Sun Prince. Here's another Sun Prince from Bonnie Schmitz. She went with the traditional white with the um, white with the, the starry night. Uh, silver cord, you guys, the silver and gold cord carried over in case you missed that. That little circle fits perfectly in that die if you guys didn't know that, but that stylish shapes circle fits right in the middle of that. And I just caught that. Now I think I will be doing that on a card sometime. The fern background. Very cool. And then here's one from Jay Shante. So she pulled in parakeet with the splotches with starry night foliage. And then she stamped the navy or starry night on the die cut label and added that green parakeet ribbon to it. And then we move, oh, here's another sun prince. So this one is from Amy Combs. So there is in there, there's that wreath looking thing. And let's wish this down you guys when you there so that looks good so amy is known for ribbon too like she'll do two ribbons and one ribbon tied around the other ribbon so i really love seeing that because it helps me remember to do that she did the fern background so i did a card for the class that's coming up that uses that wreath as well so here's another like my card has the wreath as well so it's a different kind of wreath it's not completely circle so i had a hard time with that there's one spot that goes off and I'm like, oh, I want to cut it to make it more round, but I let it be. <laughs> um, yes, Hildy, is there a July ink, paper, scissors class? Absolutely. Um, I think it's not going to be in July. I had to rearrange my schedule. So what happened was it's actually August 1st because I'm going camping on when it would have normally been. So hang on, the class would have normally been July 28th but we're leaving that morning for camping. So I switched paper pumpkin to be on the 28th. And so July's ink, paper, scissors technically is August 1st, which is a Monday. So it's July's ink, paper, scissors, but I moved it to August 1st. And I believe that it features a wash in beauty, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm looking for a schedule. Um, I'll flip the camera down, put it on the cards. I'll go get a schedule really quick. Um, my schedule has on here, Hues of Happiness is June, A Wash and Beauty is July, and Lovely and Linen is August. But again, I had to rearrange, so the schedule is old here. So A Wash and Beauty is August 1st, and the, the August... Lovely and Linen Ink, Paper, Scissors is actually September 1st. I had to switch that one too because of going to Backstage down in New Orleans. 
So yes, good question. So this, the, the ladybugs carried over, you guys. So this is Bonnie Schmidt's. The daffodil baby, not daffodil, the medium daisy punch carried over. And so these leaves look like they're from sun prints as well. Penciled paper. Um, the ladybug carried over. So I got a little ladybug card. This one is Carissa Albert's Pure Magic, if I am not mistaken. Look at this beautiful card. Holy Moses. She went to town on this one. Um, the hive embossing folder. And then, I don't know, Chris, if you're still watching, but... I don't know if you took a blending brush or a sponge dauber, but she really decorated. Look at that little guy's peeking out the corner. She she colored the the hive. It's like it's an extra layer on the top, but it's all just textured color. And then she colored in her dragon. Have a legendary birthday. Iridescent oh, and pearls. So cool. So very cool. So that's pure magic, if I'm not mistaken, the name of that stamp set. This one is from Kathy Miller. It might be wildlife path or something like that for the stamp set. I can't remember exactly where these flowers come from. Um, the, this looks like twigs and sprigs embossing folder in the back. Um, Orchid Oasis. I ink blended the background, then embossed it. Oh, is that vellum? No. You ink blended. So you colored the cardstock? It's so cool. I thought that that was vellum, but it's it's oh it's white paper back there ah uh -huh, see it's white paper very sneaky okay i love it um kathy miller orchid oasis parakeet party with a little bit of black a thank you card with some flowers and then she used some of that new um in color ribbon and then we have here uh bonnie schmidt's ocean front is what this one is with the scallop contours oh my gosh she used the stitched rectangles on the inside i love it um the Oval punch, time worn type embossing folder in the back, a little faux sea glass shapes on there. A little Christmas card here from Lori Krause. The trimming of the tree, maybe. Uh, there's a tree set that's in the annual catalog. Trimming the tree, maybe. Um, some of that distress gold background, the gold shimmer bow. And then she's got the tree with a lot of different ornaments that are um, the new in color opal opals, I think. Are there the old in colors, but in the new package? It's um, the 2021 to 2023 Opal Rounds is what those are called, <laughs> I think. All right, you guys might recognize this one. This is um, the Wildlife Wander. Uh, yeah, Diane and I are doing this class for actually July. So to show you ahead, um, there's three cards for the let's just stamp. So this is what I did for the swap, but then and I embossed the background, but we don't do embossing for let's just stamp. So we have a new technique we're going to show you with creating texture. Um, and we did it with all three. So you guys, I don't know if I've really showed these much, but these are the three let's just stamp for wildlife wander for July that are coming up. So, um, the class is created. It's out there. So you can probably go see that. Um, let's see. I was right back there. Okay, so these are mine. We'll put them there. And then, this is from Bonnie Schmitz. She had, um, I know it's the ladybug set, so I wonder if she picked the ladybug. Look at this knot. She knotted up this the gingham and made it as the center of the flower. Super cool. The hive embossing holder, the penciled print, um, black and white designer paper. She made a bee out of the ladybug set, which I super love. Okay, and then this one is Carissa. The picture dies, I think. We did a class um, way back called Expressions in Ink where that got used and super cool. She ink blended the background, uh, Tahitian Tide. Um, I don't remember the, where the word stamps come from. Oh, that's Monoculus Romance um, stamp. And then that's where that background came from. So very cool. Hi, Laura Sullivan. All right, this one is from Lori Krause. The Peaceful Deer bundle is what she had. Uh, Sahara Sand think mossy meadow and then some of the happier than happy designer paper and a bunch of layers with the deer very cool this was the sweetest cherries which is a new bundle this is Jeanette Swain it's a punch with stamps and so the cherries are part of that punch there's a stamp set the clouds in soft sea foam are the background here and the gingham ribbon is very cool very cherry card very cherry cherry card <laughs> Hi, Kathy Cornea. This is Rhonda Morgan. 
Uh, she did the best butterflies. And so I wonder if that's where that little stamp comes from. That's probably it. Um, so she has here, there's, this must be a different fold too. So yep, it opens like that. So yeah, the cherries are awesome. All right, so that's our best butterflies. And then the bamboo shoots. Uh, this was Chris. I don't know if that's the name of the set, but it was something with the bamboos and it carried over. I'm thinking this is a fun fold and it opens. Like, oh, it's a Z fold. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. I love the sun in the background there. Ah, there's our little die. I love it. <laughs> and I've already forgotten which die set it was from. Anna, what did you tell me? I don't know if you're still watching or not, but I can't. The T one? I don't remember. I love that little die, though. Oh, man. That's how my brain is already... I forgot. That was like an hour and a half ago already that we talked about that. Um, this one is from Kathy Miller. It's also the butterflies, best butterflies, that frame background is so cool and then she popped up the white part in the middle it's a book card so hi marcia coolbert and then that opens like that very cool oh yes hello habitat die thank you okay chris so that's what it was the the bird i'll have to remember it's the bird one um here on set thanks patsy i appreciate that um pretty flowers embossing folder that's that new punch um having some vellum with some t boutique designer paper in the back lori kraus did this one Fresh Freesia with, um, thanks Pam Ott. <laughs> you guys remember, I didn't, I'm glad you remember. Um, Fresh Freesia with Orchid Oasis. Okay, and then this one is from Bonnie Schmitz. She had the um, Beauty of the Earth stamp set. And so she stamped that as in the background here, added a mesh bow, and then used some of the silver foil and added a little best wishes on this. Then you guys will recognize this. This was my swap card, but it was also, it's the class card for June. So June is the koalas. June is, so these are koalas from Count On Me. And then June also is the chocolate. And then June is also the flower one. So these are what's coming up for next month for the monthly class that we're going to be, mom and I are going to kit them up next week, Wednesday. So I get back Tuesday. We're kitting them up on Wednesday. So I have an idea in my head of what we need to make. So if anybody needs to get signed up, let me know soon so I can make sure I have kits for everybody. But these were two of my swap cards that I used. And then I have here one, this is from Wendy Cranford. It's called Newsbreak, I think. And so she's got, it all it kind of goes, it's like a newspaper script and then it's for a birthday card. The penciled prints background, the brick and mortar embossed here. Colored the cake and she added some iridescent rhinestones. I think the last one I have here is from Rhonda Morgan. Um, the stitch with whimsy was used on this, on the background and on the white. You can kind of see there's some stitching. And this is that flower set that I believe goes with the bottle. <laughs> I really haven't officially checked that out too much. Let me just, let me just look up bottled with happiness because I got to see what that looks like. We've been seeing some cards, bottled with ha bottled happiness. Six, oh, it's way in the beginning. Let's see what this looks like. I think that's where those flowers are from. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, bottled happiness. And I even cased a card. I love that. So when I look in the catalog and I like an idea, I put a post-it note. I love that message in a bottle idea for it. Um, that's where all those flowers are coming from. Yeah, called bottled happiness. And that's where the punch goes. So, wowzers, you guys. I tried to keep it to noon. Okay, we didn't go much over, so that's good. All right, we made it through the Swap Card Showcase, you guys. That was, I don't even know, that might have even been 250 cards. <laughs> it might have been 100 from before and then 100 now. I don't know. It's like, that was a lot. Hopefully, you guys saw some cards, got some inspiration, so that you, um, if you were on the fence about some things and unsure, seeing some of these samples, that's why I show you guys this on, in an online format, so that you can get more ideas, see them in kind of real life, but not really in real life because it's like, hopefully you could see them okay. Um, and if you saw a card and you're like, oh my gosh, I really like that card, but I didn't get it. Um, I can try to help you take a picture of it. Don't ask me though before I leave because I don't have time today. <laughs> but maybe when I get back, if there was a card that you were you were inquiring about and you didn't get a good picture of it, let me know. I can try to help you out after I get back next week. Um, but 
they're fun. I'm going to be putting these up on my wall. So anybody who's local to me and does classes with me, I have them, I have a whole wall right here where if I have three boards and that's where those cards go up. So, so many beautiful different cards. Yes. Um, yes, Kathy. If, yeah, if anybody who joined late uh, wants to, well, as soon as I hit the end button, you can go back and catch the replay and start it from the beginning. So um, yes, Pam, lots of inspiration. That's what this is all about, you guys, sharing ideas. And you may not have the stamps or something specific, but you might have liked the layout of a card. And you might have something else at home that you already have in your arsenal that you can use. That's great too. Oh, thanks, Bonnie. So many beautiful cards. Hi, Karen Becker. Um, the other note too, you guys, I see that a bunch of you have subscribed to my, my emails and my newsletter, and I'm catching you guys as you come in because I have to add you to my like card class group to make sure that you get included in the emails. So just know if you want to see emails from me or upcoming classes or get my schedule. Oh, that's what I was going to work on. Um, I've got my schedule done through December. I just need to proofread it. Cause you know me, I miss stuff all the time and I gotta print it. And then I'm like, Oh shoot, that's wrong. I gotta proofread it, but I will be publishing that on my website, hopefully later today or while I'm gone, I'm, I'll get it done. But I have, uh, thanks Luann Johnson. Thanks Kathy King. Um, I have the whole schedule now done through December. So I'm going to be taking off the 2022 schedule from my newsletters link on my website. And I'm just going to add the the basically June through December schedule so that you guys will get that out there. I'll get that out there. And I'll also have that in my newsletter, which I was going to try to do today. It's on my, it's on my list for today. It might not happen today, but everything gets done when, by the time it needs to get done. <laughs> so just know the schedule is in the works. The newsletter is in the works. We're going to do a last chance um, video later this afternoon. And Anna, if you're still watching, I'm going to go start working on your pre prepping your pieces for die cutting. So, all right, you guys, we'll catch you a little bit later. Lots of sunshine, love and hugs to you. Um, thanks, Terry. I appreciate that. Yeah. Leave the worries behind. Yeah, I try to, but I always sneak in things where I can as well. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, we'll see you later. Love you. Bye.